In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to export MP3 WAV or individual project stems from Cubase 11 Pro. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Che. I make music production tutorials on YouTube in Cubase and Apple Studio. So consider subscribing, click that post notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a brand new video let's start by doing the simplest let's say you want to export a single mix down which is just mp3 or wave file of the entire project i light everything click p on your keyboard so what happens when you click p on your keyboard it selects the range that you're supposed to export so let's say for example you have this from here to there it means you're only going to export this part right here but if you want to export everything the simpler way to do that is simply uh, highlight everything and then simply click p the letter p on your keyboard or you can manually do it like that from the end to the end of your project so once this is done all you have to do is simply go to file then go to export and audio mix down then you come to this export window right here if you want to export a single file a single mp3 or wav file go to single right here and then just select stereo out make sure this is marked give it a name right here then this here choose the folder where you want to save your file once you export and then right here is where you select the file type so you can simply select wav or you can select mp for mp3 right here so in my case i'm going to export uh, a simple wave file then the sample rate 44.1 is okay or you can use the sample rate of 48 which is this one here so between these two whichever you choose is okay after the sample rate you have bit depth right here so 32 bit float is okay and then down here you have export as so this is where you select whether you're exporting a mono or stereo file so if you take a look at the what you have here you've got mono down mix for mono exports and then if you look at stereo here you don't have stereo but you've got this here called interleaved so interleaved is basically a type of stereo where the left and right channels are merged together and treated as one so for stereo mixes you'd want to go for interleaved right here once you're done with these settings right here all you have to do is click on add to queue sometimes this is closed like that so you have to expand it you click on add to queue your file will come down here then you can simply export but let's say you want to export mp3 and wave at the same time once you put your wave here all you have to do is come back here and simply select again a different file format and simply go to add to queue it will come back here so you have two files now wave and mp3 so you can export these at the same time so once you start exporting it will start loading like that then it will go to your selected folder all right so now let's look at how to export your individual project uh, stems from here so the first thing that you need to do is just like i said make sure you've highlighted everything in your project everything that you want to export and delete everything else that you don't need in the project just to make it clean enough it makes it easier for you to select and export you can now go to file and go to export once you go to audio mix down as you can see i've got some some files here added to queue for my pre from my previous project i simply have to remove them from here so right now what i want to do is to export some of my vocal stems right here i can either select from here and select them here but the easiest way to do it is click this this right here once i click this I can simply move this to this side and just hold control and select everything that you want to export so if I want the chorus here if I want maybe one of these backup vocals I can simply click one it comes here if I want this I click it like that and just click everything else that I want to export so once this is done I can select now wave format right here and make sure i select the folder where i want to take these files 
and i'll leave it at 44 or 48 it's okay you can choose whichever sample rate that you want between these two 44 and 48 once this is done i can go to add to queue so you see that they are all here now and simply click start queue export and they'll start exporting all right guys thanks a lot for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload a brand new video see you in my next video peace